Hello and welcome to Explore Bio. Before I begin with the topic of Tetrans PCR, I would like to mention that the topic was made on a special request of Ms. Monica and Mr. Sagar. If you also have any such request or recommendation, please mention the comment section below. First, I will give a brief introduction about what is the need of the technique. We the humans have always wanted to develop crops with better yield, quality, resistance against various diseases, similarly better yield of milk or other animal derived products. Molecular markers are one of the most important tools for breeding, selection and genetic improvement of organisms including plants and animals. Large number of marker techniques are available including RFLP, SSRs, RAPD, ISSR, ILPs, HRM, SSCP. The details about each of these markers found in my other videos whose links are given in the description below. tetra PCR is used to identify mutation or SNP in a given population of individuals. The question here arises why to study SNPs? So SNPs are the most abundant in the genome and a single nucleotide variation in the genome may affect the trait linked to it. For example, a single nucleotide variation in hemoglobin gene leads to amino acid change from glutamic acid to valine, which leads to malformed RBCs and hampering the normal blood flow through the vessels. So now you know how important it is to study the single nucleotide variations and mutations. In a similar manner, there are different traits that may be affected by single nucleotide variation. In recent years, as the cost of sequencing the whole genome and transcriptome is remarkably reduced, it's easy to identify SNPs in the genome. These are some of the reasons why SNPs are very popular today. Let's begin learning about one of the most economical and rapid mutation detection technique, Tetra Arms PCR or Tetra Primer Amplification Refractory Mutation System PCR. The technique involves a single PCR followed by gel electrophoresis. It utilizes four primers, two outer primers and two inner primers in a single PCR step. The outer primer combination generates a large fragment in all the genotypes and acts as an internal control for the PCR reaction. The internal forward outer reverse and outer forward internal reverse primer combination yield allele specific amplicons which are of different sizes and can easily be discriminated on the gel electrophoresis. Now let's understand this better. Have a look at DNA locus of two individuals. You can see there is a variation in a single nucleotide. Just for simplicity, we look at the first strand only. In individual 1, allele A is present while in second individual it is mutated to G. Now we want to confirm this using our SNP marker or tetra arms PCR. As I mentioned earlier, outer primer sets will bind and amplify all the individuals as the sequence is same in all of them. The inner primers are allele specific. Now what it means is in individual 1, internal forward will not bind as the nucleotide at 3 dash end of the primer is not matching with the DNA sequence. But the same will amplify the individual 2 to produce G allele specific band in combination with outer reverse primer. On the other hand, Internal reverse anneals and amplify in individual 1 producing A allele specific band along with outer forward primer but does not produce a band in individual 2. It should be kept in the mind that the primers are to be designed in a manner that they produce fragments of different lengths to be distinguished on the gel. When the PCR product of both the individuals are separated on the across gel, the distinct bands are seen representing a specific allele. Now coming on to the interpretation of the results. If two bands are visible in an individual, it means that the first band is of outer primers and the another band is allele specific that can be clearly seen in the gel as double G and double A. But if three bands are visible, it means that the individual is heterozygous, which means that both the alleles are present in one individual itself. 
homozygous means when both the DNA copies in an individual have the same sequence while heterozygous means when each DNA copy has a different DNA sequence within an individual. Heterozygous situation may arise when you have an individual having DNA composition mixed of both the individuals. The same can be seen in the fifth line as AG. Now coming on to the application part of tetra arms PCR. Mutation validation where you need to confirm that the mutation is really there or not. Genetic mapping for determining the position of genes and DNA locus on the chromosomes based on the recombination frequencies. Genome-wide association is studies to establish the marker trait associations. Molecular breeding for selection and development of better varieties. More information about SNPs, how they are different from mutation, different type of SNP detection techniques can be found in my videos link in the description below. Thank you.